Hi everyone, it's time for another water marble tutorial. This one reminds me of white feathers. How many creatures can you name that has white feathers? List them in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos created using the water marble technique, I have a playlist linked below so you can go check them out. To start off, pour some tap water into a small round container. I'm using a glass candle holder that is about 5 cm diameter wide. You can also use paper or plastic cups which you can find around the house. Let the water sit for a few minutes and cool down to room temperature. While we wait, apply base coat to all of your nails and let it dry. For the base color, I am using a silver glitter polish with rainbow colored chunky glitters. The trick to applying glitter polish is to dab the colors onto areas that you have missed. And in this case, I wanted to dab more chunky glitter onto the nail. And since I had to reapply many times to get the effect that I want, I ended up with excess nail polish on my nails. So to remove them, simply place a finger to the side of the nail and pull off the excess polish to thin it down. Do this to the top of the nail as well. If you get any around the cuticles, you can use a flat brush dipped in polish remover to clean it out. And if you don't have this particular nail polish, you can always apply a silver glitter polish and use the glitter flake decals which you can get in a set of 12 colors and place them on the nail using the picker pencil which is available on my website. Next, to create the water marble print, I'm going to be using the Sally Hansen White On and the LA Colors Rapid Dry Top Coat which is clear. I find they both work wonderfully for water marbling and spreads in water like a charm. If you have experience with water marbling, maybe you can list a few of your favorite colors to use that works well so we can all help each other out. We all know it's a hit and miss when it comes to finding nail polishes that can work well for this technique. Once you've dropped a few rings of nail polish for each color, grab a small dotting tool and drag from the center towards the bottom and top of the cup to anchor the rings. Then drag a few horizontal lines back and forth across the cup. Wipe the dotting tool in between to clean the tip. Next, add a few vertical lines across the cup to make the lines even thinner. Then get your fingers ready and dip it into the pattern with a concentrated area of vertical lines. Hold your finger in the water and slightly blow onto the surface to dry up the Rubani nail polish. Then grab a Q-tip and clear away the nail polish around your finger. Once the coat is clear, take your finger out. To clean up, use a nail wipe soaked in polish remover and wipe away the excess prints around the nail. Alternatively, you can also use a nail form to reduce cleanup. Wrap it around the nail and cut off the tip so you can fit your finger into the cup. Then repeat steps to create the pattern for the next nail. If you need help in finding a good spot to dip your nails in, try using a cutout like this to get a better picture. Once you've found an area you like, dip your nails in the water and clear away the excess polish.
Then take your finger out and remove the nail form. See, that prevented most of the cleanup. If you don't have nail forms, you can also use sticky tapes. Wrap a piece around the underside of the nail, then one more piece below the nail. Once your finger is wrapped up, dip it in the next pattern you've created. When you take your nails out of the water, cut the tape under the finger and peel away the tape. Once all your nails are done, any remaining cleanup work, you can use a flat brush soaked in polish remover to do the work. As you can see, because we used a clear polish, we end up seeing the chunky glitter from the base color sipping through, which looks quite interesting, don't you think? Once you're done, apply top coat to all of your nails to protect your design for a lasting finish. If you like this video, please rate it, share it, and add it to your favorite playlist. Subscribe for updates, I upload new videos every Thursday, Asia Pacific time, or Wednesday everywhere else. Check out my watermarble playlist linked below for more nail art inspirations. Thanks for watching.